What's crackalacking? I'm back again. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Chris Smalling Foot Headliners Player Card. Now, um, this is a bit of a surprise because EA have actually released them uh, with a low uh, SPC requirement coming at a 30,000 coins. You know, it's a bit shocking, you know, looking at this card um, for, from the get-go. He, he looks pretty good, like for 30,000 coins, he looks like a, you know, like a steal. You know, he's got good pace, like similar to Van Dyke, good physical, good defending, you know, his dribbling's decent, and, um, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, it's, it's a bit surprising, to be honest, and, um, you know, uh, this guy, uh, at this, uh, since, ever since FIFA 19, FIFA 18, he, the EA haven't really released a good card of his, you know, no team of the seasons or anything, and then boom, out of nowhere in FIFA 20, they just, uh, release this card in the headliners promo. And um, yeah, just uh, I guess they're trying to uh, revitalize the small Dini hype. So now we're going to be taking a look at some of the stats on uh, Footbin. Now, after doing a bit of research, looking through the community, I found out that the best chem style for him is the shadow uh, chemistry style. Um, uh, with it applied, his uh, pace goes up to 87, uh, 92 sprint speed. Uh, you know, this, which is uh, as fast as uh, a lot of uh, meta strikers. This acceleration is a bit slow, even though it's um, at a uh, 15 plus. Uh, it's only uh, 82 acceleration. We take a look at uh, his defending: uh, 95 interceptions, 95 hit hitting accuracy, 95 defensive awareness. You know, 99 slide tackling. This guy's six foot four, so you know every time he slide tackles, you know it covers basically the half of the pitch you know he's just he's just a tall lanky guy he's actually the same height as van dyke <laughs> it reminded me of van dyke to be honest um you know we take a look at his physicality 78 jumping which is a decent but you know he's 6'4 so he's just gonna win the headers anyway um his stabbing 71 Ugh, that's 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 a bit of a problem no, not gonna lie he he probably won't last you know near uh, the entirety of the game you know we probably won't do well in extra time but uh i guess that can be fixed you know if you set him it uh, stay back while attacking in uh, one depth uh, that should be all right and um, we take a look at his strength it's 93 you know that's that's what you want from your center back you want 90 plus you know that that's one what, what I'm uh, going to be covering in the next segment you know i'm going to be go over, going over some uh, you know meta center back uh, criteria and um, strength is definitely one of them we you know we see 88 aggression uh, aggression is definitely uh, important for a center back as well and uh, yeah we we take a look at the stats right now but like I want you know to see if these stats you know translate well into the game I want to I want to show you guys whether they do you know, I'm gonna be a, playing a couple of games with him and um, uh, first of all, we have to be looking at the um, the criteria for what a meta center back is in uh, FIFA 20. You know, if you if before you guys you know add players to your squad, you know the uh, the players I'll be reviewing. I want you guys to know whether you know they'll be suitable towards uh, um, your your success in for champions, whether uh, they'll fit into your squad and um, you know uh, provide you with the results you, you need. And, you know, I'm just not gonna, you know, review these players without, you know, giving you the correct nod on whether these players are, are ideal, have the ideal stats, are meta enough for your squads. So yeah, um, this 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 is my criteria. It's um, I have, you know, seven uh, main criteria uh, for a center back, especially the height, pace, defending, strength, jumping, agility, and short passing. These are, you know, the some of the most these are the most most important. Um, you know aspects of a meta center back in my opinion you know right there I have the ideal stats you know 6-1 it's got to be above 6-1 uh, pace 80 plus you know but like uh, in terms of pace I think acceleration is uh, a bit more important than sprint speed you know ex acceleration you want to be fast in the short bursts so you can catch up to players like Messi, like Mbappe, who are like known to be doing short bursts, uh, sprint speeds. You know, their speed, the speed boosts. You want your center, back, your center back to be, you know, catching up to them in those scenarios. And obviously, you got defending and strength. These are a must to be above 85 and 90. You got jumping at 85. 
agility, short passing, and uh, you know the the agility doesn't really need to be that high to be honest. From the center back, sixty plus is uh, sixty plus is fine. Um, you got uh, short passing. You know, you, you you don't really need them to be a Pirol or Paul Scholes, to be honest. At the back, you want them to have 70 plus so they can just like have a good chance of uh, passing to your uh, center mids. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll be looking at uh, some of his gameplay right now. So, um, you know, I played a couple of uh, rivals games with him, and as you can see, uh, this is uh, Chris Smalling. You know, doing his thing. You know, he's he uh, fitted into into my squad. You know, alongside um, uh, Manolas, uh, Kyle Walker for that. You know, English link and uh, Alexandro. And uh, what I can tell you is that uh, this guy, you know, his his physicality kind of reminded me of uh, Van Dyke. You know, just a little bit skinnier. But um, yeah, just uh, this guy, this guy's, this guy's solid. Not gonna lie, like for thirty thousand coins, like you know, he kind of, you know, he kind of exceeded our expectations. As you can see, he just intercepted that ball like super, super fast, no problem. You know, he he has the high sprint speed with the, with the shadow uh, chemistry style applied, so he's gonna run back, you know. And um, yeah, he was, uh, what I noticed is that he was good at uh, interceptions as well. And his overall defensive positioning was like on par with like some of the top center backs. Um, I'm not even like uh, exaggerating. Like his his defensive positioning is really good. But uh, in terms of uh, cons, um, I'm not gonna. His like I'm not. He even though his attacking work rates don't show that you know he's supposed to be you know higher or whatever. He 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 got up the pitch. He, he he went up too high uh, uh, if you guys can understand he, he was up too high in the pitch if you guys can understand like he uh, got forward too too much um, uh, in the couple of games I played that's what I uh, that was the main thing I noticed but uh yeah like overall besides that he, he was very very solid um, you know, uh, another con, I guess, would be aggressiveness. You know, he has 80 of, uh, 88 aggressiveness, but, like, that didn't really show in a couple of games. But, like, uh, but uh, besides that, like, um, you know, he, he was pretty solid. Okay, so now we'll be looking at into the uh, criteria and um, judging uh, Chris Smalling based on that. So, um, here we have the uh, criteria scores I have uh, for Chris Smalling. You know, high 10 out of 10, 6-4, like, that's, like, one of the, uh, that, that's one of the uh, best sites you can have for a center back. You know, he doesn't even have to jump that high to, like, uh, win headers. So, like, you, if you go down to jumping, I have him at 8 out of 10. You know, he, his jumping wasn't really noticeable. It was, like, good enough for a center back, you know. Um, it's, just, it's fine, to be honest, because his height makes up for it. Now we move on to pace. I gave it a 7 out of 10. You know, even with a shadow camp style applied, you know, his sprint speed goes up to 92, but his acceleration was 82. Now, at this point of the game, you want, you know, your meta center backs to have good acceleration so they can um, catch up with the, uh, your Messi's, your Mbappe's, your Ronaldo's who are like known for speed boosting. You know, speed boosting is just a sudden burst of pace, sudden burst of speed, and like, you want your center backs to be um, fast enough in terms of acceleration to catch up with them. So acceleration is really, really important in this game, and uh, Chris Smalling's acceleration is like not not even scratching it for a meta center back, to be honest. Uh, we move on to his defending and strength. The defending solid, nine out of ten. Um, I just he doesn't get a nine point five or ten out of ten because he got forward too much. Like that's what I noticed. Like he left a big hole in the defense. Um, and for mana last to cover because like, he got forward too much you know he made a big pocket of space for my opponent's attackers to like uh, go into and um, yeah that's like the, one of the biggest things I noticed about him um, you know I already covered you know strength strength was all right I mean all right in terms of like a meta player like it's good enough for a meta player one thing Along with the strength that I noticed about him was his aggressiveness. It, it wasn't that great, to be honest. Like, you know, you want your meta center backs to be, you know, super aggressive so they can take back the ball and just, like, absolutely dominate your opponent's uh, players, you know. 
and uh, that's what Smalling didn't really do that much. He kind of he um, outmuscled my opponent's players. Not gonna lie, but you know it's just sometimes you need to be a bit more aggressive so you can uh, get more interceptions in uh, key moments, and uh, he kind of lacked that. Um, we move on to jumping. Already talked about it. Like it, it was good enough. Agility, 8.5. You know, for he has um, you know, 59 agility. That that's around Van Dyke's agility. Like that, that's good enough for a center back. You you really don't need that much more. In game, it it felt solid. It felt smooth for a center back. He has good agility. Short passing, nine out of ten. In the clips I just showed you, he, he was like, he was very calm and composed at the back in terms of passing. You know, it's. It was all. It was good enough. Like um, you, you don't really don't need that much more passing uh, out of this guy. Um, it, it was just good for a center back. Like not much uh, need to be said. So we'll be moving on to the final review of this player. And um, yeah, this uh, there you go. Here's the pros and cons: good positioning, interceptions, sprint speed, short passing strength, and like I said, his aggressiveness, acceleration. You know he he gets forward too much. That that's his cons. Uh, like I said, um, uh, this guy he's an 85 rated card. You know that's kind of what you expect from an 85 rated card. You know um, the meta teams we have today, 90 rated, 89 rated center backs. You know Van Dyke's like 90. You know for an 85 rated card, this is this is basically what what is the result. You know you you have some you have some flaws. You know. Uh, meta center backs you have at the top they have minimal like not even noticeable flaws to be honest so is he foot champs ready yes he is absolutely foot champs ready this guy th this is a good this is a good card all right this don't get me wrong this is a good card you know 30,000 coins that it's an absolute bargain like come on 30,000 coins is perfect for this card you know if you have some untradeables uh, lying around in your squad you, you you do the SBC, you complete the SBC. You know he's a good, reliable Serie A center back. You can link him up, link him up to uh, Manolas, Delight, um, or uh, Juan Carlos. You know to get that strong link. But um, the last, but like one of the most important questions is: Is he meta team worthy? Not quite, not quite. Um, as these guys saw in the segment before this, you know he he ticked most of the boxes except for pace. And as you may know, FIFA 20 is really focused on pace. Pace is super, super important. And um, your meta center backs, you know, you, your Van Dykes, your Desais, your Maldinis, they have good acceleration. All right. You need good acceleration to catch, you know, to deal with Mbappe's and Ronaldo's who, uh, you know, who's who speed boost all game. You know, if you have a player like Smalling, it's just, it's going to be a nightmare for you to deal with because... You know, once he's uh, past Smalling, it's gonna, uh, it, it, he's just not gonna catch up to them. Like, uh, sprint for speed, you know, uh, uh, you know, in terms of sprint speed, Smalling's good. You know, in a sprint battle, he's gonna catch up. But like, you know, in a short, you know, if your point, uh, player's opponent's in the box, and he just goes past Smalling, he's not gonna catch up in that uh, short amount of space. You know, which can be very um, um, detri detrimental to your foot champions, you know, gameplay. You know, you're gonna concede goals because of Smalling's, you know, lack of acceleration. But uh, overall, you know, I reviewed Smalling in this video, one of my first reviews, and um, yeah, this guy is a good, uh, good card, and I highly recommend you do the SPC. Um, this has been your boy Shiz, and um, I'll see you next time.